Okay, you guys, yes. thank you for coming back. This is our storytelling glimpse, number two, about our book, No Longer Untouchable. And my name is Sarah. Oh, and Hannah's video froze. And this is Hannah. And I'm going to talk until her video comes back. What we want to talk about in this story, glimpse of our story, is human trafficking which is one of the pieces that we wanted to talk about in our book. And what we wanna ask you to consider is what if one by one by one, girls in your neighborhood, girls in your community started disappearing and were not seen again. And, and this is the reality and Hannah's people called the Badi, B-A-B-I, in the far west part of Nepal, and uh, where 15,000 women and children go missing every year in Nepal. And four of Hannah's sisters were um, part of that statistic. And happily, spoiler alert, they are all free, they were rescued and are living free today. But we don't wanna to go too far, too fast to that because we have to sit with the absolute injustice of human trafficking and allow ourselves to take in those stories to be inspired, hopefully, we hope, to do something about it. So Hannah, what's one thing you'd like to share about your experience with human trafficking? Uh, you know, human trafficking is um, everyone they know about it, you know, because uh, not I think not only in Nepal, but in a, all over the world that has been, you know, covered by this, this problem. And, uh, and our Nepal also, I think one of the like most, um, you know, um, the human trafficking, you know, exists in Nepal. So every single day, you know, the, the women's and the, the children, the kids, they are, they're being trafficked to India from Nepal. Uh, like their own, own people, their own parents, their own relatives are selling, you know, their daughters, their wives, you know, their sisters. So it's a, it's a kind of like many organizations, many people that are trying to stop, you know, human trafficking through like, you know, through different kinds of programs. But, but still this, you know, this human trafficking is still like, you know, going on. And uh, like uh, this just uh, today I got back from, from uh, Midwest Nepal and West Nepal, uh, you know, so I, I found uh, some, of, some of the girls, they, 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 they were trafficked like just, you know, like uh, two weeks ago. So that means, that means that human trafficking has not stopped, you know. So I think it's it's very important now us to like work hard and like connect with the people and help the people who is working, you know. So and also you you're gonna read you know our story. It's all about human trafficking, and you can see the light of in this story. So some of our sisters were rescued from brothels. And like some of them were kidnapped, you know, like you're gonna know that all the story from this book, but like there's someone that who, someone they, they, the, you know, who helped and like a little bit and they were able to rescue from that hell. I will say hell, you know, and now they're in a light, they're living their beautiful life. They have a hope, they have a dreams. So, and I would, I would encourage everyone to read this book and you're gonna know the truth of, human trafficking also. Thank you, Hannah. Yeah. So you guys, the information about where you can buy the book and some ways you can help us create a viral community-led book launch is in the write-up. Please yeah. check it out. Please know that as dark as these stories are, as Hannah said, the light is brighter and there is hope. This story, this book will not leave you in the dark. Yeah. So um, thank you for listening and thank you for being a part of this history-making book launch. Bye, guys. Bye.